Good evening, all, and welcome. We would like to thank all of you for being here today, braving the heat as we finally get the show on the road. We celebrate the love and union of Brady and Brianna. Whether you came from near or far, your presence here is appreciated as it allows the bride and groom to start their married life surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. We are here tonight celebrating your marriage and the lifetime of happiness in such a beautiful setting. You're surrounded, both physically and virtually, by those that love you the most. Brady, you are such a wonderful person. You are kind, you protect our sister, and you are so driven. And we have truly, truly loved getting to know you and are so excited to welcome you into our family. I applaud you and adore you for everything that you did with planning and, and all the emotional setbacks that you had to endure throughout this whole process. I respect you for that and it shows the strength of yourself as a person. Brady, we finally did it. We made it, baby. This day, this exact moment may not have been what we originally planned or when we originally planned it, but I couldn't feel more fortunate and blessed to be standing here before you. <laughs> if there has been anything the past six months of world events has taught me, a wedding day is not defined by the number of guests, the color of the table linens, the dinner menu, or the guest favors. It's about you and I standing before one another with God as our witness, vowing to want, love one another every day for the rest of our lives. can light up a room and every time I see it, it fills my heart with warmth. I promise to you to work on my shortcomings every day to be the man that you deserve. I promise to grow as a person, to be the best husband and the best father that I can be. I promise to be there for you, whether you're happy, sad. I'm honored to be standing here next to you today. I'm honored to be able to call you my wife. And I look forward to the future that we have before us and what it holds. I knew, Brady, from the very first moment I saw you, that there was something profoundly special about you. It was as if something inside me clicked, my soul's recognition of its counterpart in another. You are my heart, my home, my safety net, and my support. I love your kind heart and your fierce loyalty to your family and friends. I love how much you love our fur babies, how you treat all animals with compassion. Brady, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. Now that they sealed their bond with their loving words, we will exchange the rings. These are the hands of your best friend, and they are holding yours on your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that when wrinkled and aged will be reaching for yours. Brady, do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Brianna was welcoming, warm, and a very kind person. It was obvious right away she would be the one that was going to make Brady happy for a very long time. From that moment on, 
I've been counting down to this day. If anyone knows Bree, we know that Bree is very thoughtful and giving and she's willing to be giving towards anyone. She doesn't think twice about buying anything, doing anything, and this goes for animals as well. And yes, I'm going to talk about animals because you can't talk about Bree without talking about animals. She has found the perfect man in Brady who will accept that zoo as his own. And I know that she will always be dedicated and determined to ensure that her marriage with Brady always remains strong. Because you pulled me like a man. And Bree and Brady, you have already conquered so many obstacles in the earliest stages of your relationship and your marriage. Your commitment to each other and those shared attributes of generosity, dedication, and passion that Allie highlighted earlier lead us to believe that you will continue to give unconditionally of yourself, challenges, and choose each other every day. You give me days of like I've been waiting my whole life. At your eyes, I go from California to Timbuktu, back to dancing in the living room. If I got you, baby, every day's a honeymoon. Brianna was a happy little girl. Uh, she had a great laugh, and she had an affinity for creatures of all ages. At CSU, which is where she ended up, she graduated and returned back to the valley here. And Sue and I noticed that. You know, the laughter wasn't there. She wasn't giggling. She was pretty serious. And she met Brady. Uh, and the first thing that we noticed is the giggles and the laughter were, were back. Her future felt brighter. Brady made her happy. Um, as a dad, that's a big check mark in the plus column for sure. Give me deja vu. Now, by the power vested in, to me by the state of Arizona and the internet, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brady, you may kiss your bride. California to Timbuktu, back to dancing in the living room. If I got you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor and privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Stevens. Oh, it's a honeymoon. Maybe every day's a honeymoon. Every day's a honeymoon.